to my channel i'm very happy you're here this is self market with najwa i am very very um excited to do a tutorial today with you to go through photoshop's ai photoshop's generative fill photoshop's generative fill basically puts together a bunch of stuff that us designers it used to take a long time for us to do now before we get into it my channel is all about teaching you these amazing and powerful design creative copywriting, creative advertising, creative marketing tools and putting them in your hands. These tools that make digital marketing and social media marketing and traditional advertising come alive today and I'm putting it in your hands. It's so, so, so much easier than you would think for everyday average people to do what the big Fortune 500 companies that I work for, that they pour millions of dollars into doing. It's very, very easy or much easier than you would think for the everyday average person to do that for their business, for their art, for their passion project, whatever it might be. And I like to give you those tools. But if at any moment it's a little bit overwhelming for you and you'd rather just have me do it for you, you guys can schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me and we can talk about your marketing goals and what I can do for you. Um, I will just put my email down below and we can just schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at Photoshop Generator Phil. Okay, so we've got our guy, he's looking pretty cool. So I like to just first go in and create a layer, uh, a sort of safety layer, and I like to Command J, just go over here to the layer panels, select the background, click Command J, just to make a copy. You know, just to make a copy so that we have um, a safety net in case we go too far or we mess up on something or we want to revert back really easily we just have the original file there okay now in Photoshop we used to have to use the pen tool to isolate people from backgrounds but Photoshop is making updates it's using AI a lot it really wants to com compete with those companies like Canva and so we're seeing updates to where we can actually go ahead and remove the background automatically in Photoshop. The point to remember is, is that it's not perfect. Um, so, you know, in the past, we would probably use a combination of the pen tool, create those pens around our guy, um, and we would use the lasso tool or perhaps the marquee tool to sort of really get this guy isolated from his background and not have any fuzziness or grain around him or sort of haziness uh, or glows but it really really would just be as sharp as possible now with generative fill especially if you've got a photo that is sort of web size which this photo is this photo is not necessarily for print so it's not 300 dpi um, it is definitely going to be a little bit more pixelated and so generative fill is not going to pick up the edges as good as it would with the pen tool. So that's just to caveat say, if you really wanna get that totally, totally pristine look, you are gonna to have to go in and, with the pen tool and clean him up. But for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna use the generator fill. So basically, let's just go ahead and remove the background from that layer copy that I just created. Okay, so Photoshop has done its magic. If you check and toggle this layer off, our guy is there. He's looking pretty, pretty good. Um, just to help out a little bit here, I'm gonna select my mask because we can see one part of his shoe is just kind of um, missing. So let's go ahead and, okay, you gotta flip this here. Sorry about that. Just flip white to the, the foreground there and then you can fill this back in. Okay, so again, you can come in with the pen tool later and mark that out really to be as closely pristine and tight as you want to be, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our mask by going command and selecting the mask. Okay, now that we have our guy selected, what we want to do is we want to go and do select inverse because selecting inverse will make sure that we're selecting the background because that's where we want to fill in the actual lights with cameras, right? And so you see the generator fill, you click that button, you're going to type in red carpet with camera lights. And then we'll click generate and we'll see what it gives us. Let's see if 
if we can see what other options it gives us. So here's the option two. That's also not too bad. Let's see what option three gives us. Huh, three. I think I like option three. So guys, there you have it. That's generate a fill. If you are having some trouble with this or if you'd rather just have me do it for you, if you have marketing needs, creative advertising needs, digital marketing, digital strategy, Let's schedule a one-on-one and we can chat about how I can help you reach your goals. Uh, I will go ahead and put my email in the description if you want to schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. And also remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know whenever I post a video and I'll see you next time.